hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of my Arma series. This is episode number 38. Before we get into the video, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for spending some time with me here today. I hope you are doing absolutely fantastic. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy. Just finished setting up some supplies for caps again. That is 63 holy aggro overloads. Well, it was 70, but I did 4 hours today. So those will last us like 36 hours of cap series grinding. So we are set to get some more keys in this one. I didn't expect to be going for this anytime soon, but I, I had reaper tasks to kill Jads, so I did extra kilns. So I've done like three, I, I've basically done three kilns now. I, I got all the three different capes here. We can uh, sacrifice those and we have the enhanced fire cape override and that is a master quest cape requirement. And here is the cape. It is very, very fiery, but <laughs> it's kind of kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Just just a master quest cape requirement out of the way, though. Oh, oh, there it is. Well, we actually got that. Staff of Light, the last thing we need for master clue scroll stashes. Sweet. Just a reminder to make your farming urns. I know it's tedious, but it's definitely worth it. I just made a thousand of those, and those will get me a step closer to 200 mil. I don't think I actually ever showed you guys the ranging pet that we got. It's this cute little Robin Hood squirrel <laughs> that is pretty adorable. We just got our first ever Edimu task, so I just bought a cannon. It was like 600k or so. And then I talked to this guy, uh, can I change my cannon? I think we want maybe the Royale one. I think this holds 90 cannonballs. You can have that. Uh, yeah, it's the best one, Royale cannon. You probably have this purchased if you d did your smithing in the Ad Artisans workshop. Okay, so cannon is there. Then you just run to this barrier and you should be able to like exit and go in to really clump them up and just mow them down with AoEs just like this. This is pretty good, but the only downside is that <laughs> RIP cannonballs basically. No way. <laughs> we got our first uh, blood necklace shard already. What KC is that? Um, <laughs> 81. <laughs> Wow, that is probably pretty useful. I mean, useless. And here we go. It is time to work on another 50 of each of the Legios. So let's get it going. Yeah, come on, baby. There we go. Yes, sir. There is the first signet from the uh, first. Yes, sir. There is just absolutely no way we got 100 KC and we did not get a single signet. That's... Oh my god. Holy f... Yes, we finally got one. Ah, oh, that's so terrible. Show me my KC, please. 430, so 80 KC for this one. You know, there was originally a clip of me saying that this is a pretty infamous place for Iron Man to go dry on. I'm not sure if I put it in the video, I might have ended up uh, cutting it out because the video was too long. Oh boy, would I have known. If, if I could have known that this was something that would happen, that uh, we would have four signets in 450 KC. Oh damn, I can just hope tomorrow when we finish the last three of the, um, getting the 100 kills for all of them, that we get lucky with at least one of them. Like, good god, just please give me some, uh, like, signals for the sixth one. I'm begging you. 72 of these and freaking 75, I mean 95 of these ones. 
that is super unfortunate. Let's hope we go dry for um secundus then. Let's hope we go dry for um secundus. Well, today we hit fifty thousand Ascension creatures killed, and also we hit fifty million GP in the coin pouch. That is because I do not know. I I just cannot leave those battle staffs on the ground at um caps for some reason. I gotta alk them, bro. Yeah, of course, we already have this one, so this one is the one we get. Oh well, it's a good start to the day. Let's go. Oh, no way. <laughs> no. Not like this, bro. Not like this. That's three kills later. No. No, 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 don't, just don't, why? All right, change of plan, I do not want to grief myself anymore, I am not killing anymore. I wanted 100 KC in all, but I am not going to kill Quartus again, this is ridiculous. We are moving on to Quartus, no, Quintus. Oh my god, yes, that's num number two. Give me that. Oh, that was scary. We always went dry. <gasps> Wait, what? Is it? Yes, it is a signet. I was like, is it? What? <laughs> yes, we actually got the one from the sixth one. One more. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. <clears throat> Ain't no way. We just got a pet. <laughs> okay, we got a pet. Let's keep it going like nothing happened. I guess we gotta check it out. That's our second ever boss pet. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kinda at this point losing count on how many KC I have in each one of these. But we have like 140 uh, secundus KC without a second signet, so <laughs> yikes. Oh crap. I... Okay, let's not die here. <laughs> I didn't think that was, that was so close. But we just hit 111 Slayer. That is Crocodile Axe. Unlocked. Well, 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 what do we have here? Is it another archaeology level just by excavating at the uh, spear tip spot? Yes, it is. There's 117, making some good, good progress on that spear tip. We are like uh, 50, I think actually 60, 70k materials in. Pretty, uh, actually over the drop rate, but I don't mind. Yes, that is world 100 completed in um, in the Shadow Worlds. We have 60,000 Ascension creature kills. So if you press this, all Slayer kills at 60,000 will be prestiged. Yes. Pog, let's see that. One prestige, first ever prestige, let's go. Last kill lucky. Never. That's pretty wild, bro. That is pretty wild. So that's... 263kc with one toothpick. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so a pretty huge thing recently was given to every single player, even Iron Man. And that is the Guardian's gift. This was given to people because of the recent login lockout. I wasn't locked out, so I only got a 100% charge on it. Most of you probably know what this is, but I'll quickly go over it and like the aspect or reward that I will be using it for. 
So you can use your charges on different wishes. I won't be going over all of them because there's only a few that are actually useful. And the most powerful, I think, is this inventor's wish, which you can, um, you get a gizmo shell that you can fill with any materials ever you want. So this is the pretty obvious choice for it. I will be going over the perks that I'm going to try and get with this and the reasoning behind my choices and um, I'm not going to use this this week probably so you guys still can comment on my choices and roast me <laughs> for making the wrong decision on this. Um, I don't think there is a rush to use this. I think they said that it's unlimited, like it doesn't have a have a time time on it when it will like disappear. So I'm not in a rush to use this. So yeah, next I will show you guys what I was planning to use this on. So in order to get the most value out of your wishes, I think it's most beneficial to go for one of the aftershock gizmos because, well. Uh, Aftershocks run you Illyjankin components and you get those from Vindicta, either the crest armors or then from lances. And in endgame, I think you have Aftershock, like a variation of Aftershock in your main hand, your off hand, your planet feet switch, um, your two hander, and you have all of that for every different style so you can imagine how much vindicta that you need to do in order to get all of those perks so most people would probably opt to go for aftershock for equilibriums like as many as they can get it's a one in one in 3.3 perk so yeah yeah you can probably get one or two of those with those wishes but i don't have, have any every best in slot in the game so the only weapons I have is my Inquisitor stuff and my Noxious Noxious Scythe that I know will that will be staying with me that I won't be getting any upgrades in them. I know the use that I will be using them for. So I, I kind of know which perks I want for them. So in the future, I won't be like getting upgrades and I, I won't have to hassle, hassle the perks around. So we will have a total of five tries on a perk. So Aftershock for Equilibrium 2 is the one that I would want uh, for my Inquisitor staff. It is a best in slot perk. So if, if all goes well, we will get three tries on that, which will use 60% out of our 100% and we will have our um, Inquisitor staff perked up. So if we don't get unlucky with the Aftershock for Equilibrium 2 for my Inquisitor stuff, we should have two tries left for a perk. And those will be used to try and go for an for an Aftershock 4 P-Size 2 for our Scythe. That is specifically a perk that you want to put, put on a Scythe because it is a Slayer perk. Because you will combo that up with the Equilibrium 4 Ruthless 3 that I currently have on my bow for my caps grind and that is meant for like multi-combat multi-target slayer so i would have a best in slot perked um scythe for slayer then of course we might like miss every one of our perk rolls and i'm completely fine with that i was not personally affected by the login lockout so these are just free perks, free benefits for me. I I'm not, I won't be too upset if we miss those rolls. I just kind of wanted to clear my head and explain the thought process behind like which which perks I'm going for because I don't know. I'm pretty new to perking. I I really don't know that much about best in slot perks. And I was pretty stressed out about <laughs> which perks would be good for me, what should I go for, so yes, you should you should see those tries in the next episode, unless you guys uh, manage to like sway me away from my decisions in the comments somehow, very unlikely, but <laughs> yeah. And with that being said, it is time to wrap up yet another week's episode. We have hit quite this dry streak everywhere, it seems. But next week, we will be working even harder to break through it, get, get through that dry streak and take our account to absolute new heights. 
As always, if you made it this far into the video, good god, you are an absolute legend and I could never thank you enough. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you haven't already, drop your boy a subscription, I really do appreciate it. If you would like to go out of your way to support me, you could leave anything in the comments down below. Just comment algorithm gang and it would boost my video up quite a bit. Thank you so much. The stars are on the screen now. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash yakiaris. I am live six days a week, so you can follow my progress live there. That's it for this week. I hope you have such a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Yaki out. Peace.